Hey, let me show you the best features of the Samsung Galaxy M15 5G. And first, we are going to start from the voice access. So did you actually know that we can control this smartphone hands-free by using the voice commands? Take a look. Open gallery, open camera, go home, open Play Store. So as you can see, we can actually uh, use a lot of different comments. And if you want to use this feature, you will have to actually go into the settings. Then you will have to scroll down and move into the accessibility, open installed apps and select the voice access. Now we can simply turn it on by clicking here. In most cases, you will actually have to download the language pack. And when you go right here, we can find some base option, like for example, go home, go back, go home, show notifications. And when you click on the settings, you can actually find all of this voice comments list. So we can actually find the basics at the navigation. You can find, uh, for example, some grid selection, like you can almost say anything and control any option of your smartphone by using your voice. And next from this one, uh, we'll have to actually navigate also into the accessibility settings. But uh, right now we are going actually to set some custom shortcuts. So when you go back from this one and open the advanced settings, you can actually find the side and the volume up buttons and the volume up and the down buttons. So uh, let's pick this first option. In my opinion, it's much better because we can press on these buttons together and we will actually uh, bring our shortcut. And for example, you can quickly mute all sounds by making this shortcut. Click to use and now just repeat. As you can see, we can quickly mute or unmute the sounds and you can link here any option like for example the color correction magnification magnifier high contrast pen fonts or for example the interaction control we can also do the same uh, when we navigate into the volume up and the down buttons but here we have to actually hold these both buttons for three seconds so it's not that fast in my opinion it will be better to set this one Next, uh, we can also get the flashlight notifications for incoming notifications. And you can also find it in the advanced settings. You can click here. Now we can enable this camera flash notification. And what is like really useful that you can pick this for a specific application. So if you want to receive this kind of notifications only, for example, for the Google Chrome, you have to actually unselect all of these other apps, select only Chrome. And now when you receive, you will actually get this kind of the notification. So this is pretty cool and useful, but also you can get the screen flash notification for our all selected apps. And when you click here, you can even change the color of it and you can get the preview. So when you receive notification from this specific application, your screen is going to light up like this. Next, uh, we are going to move for another option in the accessibility, but it will be right now visible in the interaction. So we have to go here and we can uh, ha we have to go into the answer, answering and ending calls and we can get uh, this option to read caller names aloud. And you can get it over the Bluetooth devices like headphones, earphones, earbuds or speakers or always. So even with your speaker. So uh, when you are actually like few meters away of your phone and you cannot actually see the screen and you hear that there is like ringtone, but you are not sure that you, you have to actually pick up this call, you will actually get this caller name uh, allowed. So this is like pretty cool and useful option. And next from this one, I'm going to show you how you can actually speed up your phone by extending the RAM memory. So you have to go into the main settings page go into the device care, move to the memory, and now select RAM plus. And from this, you can actually get four gigs of the RAM. So as default in the M15 5G, you will get four gigs, take a look. But if you enable this one, you will actually get eight gigs of the RAM. So it's actually a lot for this price of the smartphone. Next, when we go back from this one and open the advanced features, we can also set this shortcut for the side button. So when you open the side button, 
as the default you can actually quickly double press and you will open the camera application but you can pick specific application or function for example you can quickly open flashlight also you can link any application uh, like for example uh, we can quickly open google maps there we go another option will be available also in the advanced features and this is actually dual messenger application and this function allows us to clone whatsapp messenger instagram facebook threads or for example the snapchat so all you have to do is just to click on this icon tap install click confirm and you will actually get on this smartphone to the same apps but you can log in into the two different apps so now you have to wait for this cloning and when you open your apps you can actually find two Facebook applications on this smartphone next I'm gonna show you how you can actually cast the screen of your phone into your TV so you have to actually go back into the settings page go into the connected devices select smart view now we have to remember to be connected to the Wi-Fi network on your phone and to the same Wi-Fi network you have to be connected on your TV then you have to click continue accept everything and now when your TV is connected to the same Wi-Fi network you can just click on your TV select the multi view or the full screen view click to start now and on your remote control you, on your TV you will actually get this pin code that you have to input here click accept and after this with your remote control accept this on your TV and now uh, let's move into the camera because we can also find some useful options so first of all when you swipe down with the shutter button you can actually take the series of the photos and you will actually take 30 photos also you can turn on the selfie camera show the palm of your hand and it will be detected you will take this selfie photo and when you go into the settings scroll to the shutting methods you can select press volume buttons too zoom in or zoom out and now when you smoothly I mean when you click quick and hold the volume up button you can smoothly zoom in or zoom out there we go and this is it all the best tips and tricks for this Samsung Galaxy M15 5G right now please subscribe to my channel